everybody welcome back to day two of the 30 days of clay i am showing you how to make this little toast today because i absolutely love it little toast in the toaster look at this comes out and everything so cute absolutely love them i think they're so adorable and i think that this would be a cute little project maybe to make it as a little gift to someone or maybe just make it for yourself for your desk i don't know i love it I think it's adorable. Hopefully this sparks some inspiration for you. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna get stuck straight on into it. Taking a small ball of polymer clay, I just pressed this down in between my fingers until it was around about a centimeters thick. I shaped it so it was kind of like a trapeze shape and placing it down on my desk, I took a sculpting tool and just marked out where I wanted the hole of the toaster to be. I just made a slight slit with my tool. This is just like a plain sculpting tool, just like a needle one i think mine is by the brand daz but you can use whatever brands that you have available if you have a tool from you know ebay or something if you just use a needle or something that will work well and i just went in and basically just like kind of opened that little slit up rounding out as i went just making sure that i had enough room in there for a little toast to be so once i was happy with the overall shape i then went in and added the details to the toaster so this included a little like kind of turn knob on the front the way that i made this was just putting a little circle on pressing that down and then a little oval kind of snake shape on between on the other end i ended up adding a little snake again just like so really defining that down with my sculpting tool and this was to act as the little lever that kind of like pushes the toast down and stuff you know then added two little feet to the very bottom of the toaster I thought this would be a nice addition for the toaster to kind of sit on and yeah that's basically the toaster shape done i did make sure to go back in and make sure like obviously the hole where the toast was going to go was nice and open because with holding it and stuff i did squish it down a little bit so i had to go back in and just neaten that up just before baking once I had completed the toaster, I moved on to the piece of toast. This was really, really simple. Again, taking a little ball of polymer clay, just squish it down in my hands and shaping it to be like a toast shape. No more kind of explanation needed than that. I just kind of shaped it with my hands, used a little tool at the end to make the indent at the top of the bread, and that was it. Once I had baked the pieces, I then moved on to painting. So with the toast, I ended up attaching it to just the back of this little pot, just so that I was able to, you know, paint it really easily and hold it into place and everything because the piece was so small so I just used a piece of blue tack on the bottom of this little pot like I said and it was really easy to hold into place as I painted it and I was able to paint one side let it dry and then turn it over and yeah I'd highly recommend probably attaching it to something rather than painting this in your hand once I had the main beige color painted I went in and painted the crust as you were just seen just really really slowly with a nice small paintbrush with the toaster I painted the base of this in a light pink I ended up doing the whole entire toaster in the pink as well as the inside because I thought this would finish off nicely then I painted the details such as the little turn knob and the push down button on the side in a gold acrylic paint this is my favorite gold i love it to add the little kind of runner where that handle will move up and down i just painted this in a really nice kind of like dark pink almost red shade and i used the same color to add a little bit of detail above the turn knob part i just thought this would add detail if you know i was to do it again i'd probably move that because in the end it does look look a little bit of whiskers next to the face um so i'd probably put that at the bottom if i was to do it again but yeah, uh, yeah it is what it is painted on the face i went in with some white for the eyes the mouth just painted that on really really simply i did add some teeth on this one because i thought that looked kind of fun kind of goofy and i thought it'd just be fun to experiment with that once the white on the eyes are dried i added the black in for the pupils and then i left that to dry once that was dry i painted on the face on the toast that was pretty much it for painting and then i moved on to glazing glazing wise i just used uv resin on this piece so i painted that on really really lightly just put a nice thin coat um and then i cured that down with my uv lamp then i did it again and i cured it down and then i did it again and i cured it down so three coats of uv resin in total to make it nice and glossy and shiny i did the same thing with the little toast as well putting it into the uv light after each coat and like i said i did around about three possibly four coats on all of the pieces okay so now it's all glazed as you can see super duper shiny um 
we're done the toast is absolutely adorable i love having the mix of like funky little vases and then little like meh phases i don't know why the toast it fits in there perfectly perfect to just sit on a little desk or something i don't know i think on a desk like a work desk would be amazing you can even go on a shelf in like a little bedroom and yeah look isn't it so cute i love that i love the fact that you can like interact with it a little bit with the toast I don't, I don't know and you can still see the face when it's in the toast days like not happy to be toasted um but yeah all cute all around i absolutely adore him thank you so so much for tuning in today if you liked today's video then please do give it a like on your way out leave a comment of anything you wish to see coming on the 30 days of clay i will be back tomorrow for another video so thank you so so much for tuning in if you want to be notified of any future uploads then please do subscribe and yeah that's it for today so i will see you tomorrow for that video bye